Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to do exploratory data analysis on flights dataset of Seaborn. We are going to start by importing our libraries. Import pandas as pd, import Seaborn as sns and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And we can run this cell. Dataset looks like this. It has three columns, year, month and passenger count. We can use SNS load dataset for loading dataset like we can try it out flights data sns.load dataset flights and uh, it just didn't work on my computer so I downloaded it manually and I'm going to leave its github link for you to download in the comments section and with that CSV file we can just do the reading operation like let's change this and pd.read csv and we are going to pass the csv file name here and with running this we are ready to go let's check how our data looks like as a pandas data frame that head and we are going to run this for seeing the first five entry and as we just said year month and passenger are our columns and let's get the numerical summaries of the numerical columns we are going to use flights data that describe for this and when we run this we can see that our means for year 1954 and passengers 280 the mean value of year column has no value but we can check the minimum and maximum values of it it contains the data of 49 and 60 also and we can see that minimum passenger value is 104 and the maximum is 622 now we can print the information about this like flight data that information and we can run this cell we can see memory usage data types etc from here let's calculate the monthly count of the number of flights for this let's create counts month and we are going to say flight data month column value counts for this task and let's print this information to see what we have and we can see that we have 12 for all the months now let's group our data by years and calculate the total number of passengers for each year for this we are going to create grouped year and let's say flight data that group by we are going to group by year and we are going to take the values of passengers that's some and let's print this information also seems good we can observe an increased trend over the years now let's group our data by month and calculate the average number of passengers for each month for this we are going to say grouped month and we are going to pass flight data that group by once again we are going to group by month for this time and we are going to say passengers that mean and let's print grouped month and get the information we month and from here we can say that we have the most value in july and least value in november i think or february okay now we are going to count the number of flights per year for this we can say count counts year and we can say flight data we need year here and value counts and we can print this information again and we have a perfect distribution here with all years has 12 value okay let's check if we have any na valued rows in our data set for this we can say flight data that is an a that's some okay we don't have any also we can check for duplicates with saying flight data that is duplicated that some and let's see we don't have any duplicated rows we can move to the visualization part of the video 
before we move to that part i'm going to make a quick change here i'm going to assign flights data with flight data and we are going to use flights data syntax from now on we can also check like this dot head and we can see it's same but i just want to use like flights let's start the visualization process by the distribution of passengers over years let's use sns.set style to white grid and sns that box plot we are going to say x is going to be equal to the year and y going to be passengers and data is going to be equal to the flights data we just changed it and when we run this we can see the increased trend here let's visualize the monthly trend of passengers for this we are going to create monthly passengers and we are going to say flights data that pivot table we are going to say values passengers index is going to be equal to the month and column Oops. is going to be equal to the year and we are going to use sns.heatmap monthly passengers and that's it let's run this and we can see the heat map here which shows the monthly trends of the passengers let's create a simple line plot for the visualization of the total passengers by year for this we are going to use sns.lineplot and x is going to be equal to the year and y is going to be equal to the passengers and we are going to say data is going to be equal to the flights data that group by year and the sum of this and we need to close the parenthesis here and when we run this there is an error message here let me quickly change this we just need to change the place of the quotes and when we run this we should be see the line plot okay seems well let's also create a line plot in this type for the month and passengers like sns.lineplot x is going to be equal to the month this time and y is going to be equal to the passengers and we are going to pass the data the flights data and when we run this we can see the line plot we have we can see that we have the highest number of passengers in the july and august now let's create a violin plot with setting x to the month and y to the passengers data is going to be equal to the flights data and when we run the cell we can have same type of information also in this violin plot but i can say more descriptive for this violin plot because we can say that july passes the august in this violin plot but in the last plot we saw that they were equal so i prefer violin plot and now we are going to visualize the average passengers per month and year for this we are going to say sns.lineplot x is going to be equal to the month and let me quickly delete this y is going to be equal to the passengers q is going to be equal to the year we are going to say data flights data group by let's press enter here group by year and month and we are going to use that mean here and when we run this we can see that we have a great looking plot which shows the years and months together with the passenger counts and it seems nice okay now we are going to generate a histogram of passengers count for this i'm going to say sns that histogram plot and we will say data is going to be equal to the flights data x is going to be equal to the passengers 
and let's set pins as 10. And in this way we can see the distribution of the passenger car. And for the ending we can generate another quick line plot with x flight data index and y occurs to the passengers and let's pass the flight data and run this. And this shows how passenger count changes with time. That was all for this video. If you liked the video, you can subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.